My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 100 of the 120 Days to Jam at Notice with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at standard integration or standard integrals. Now, there are integration techniques like in differentiation, we did quotient rule, product rule, function of a function, differentiation of sum and difference. For integration, we have integration techniques. However, there are standard integrals or integration you should know for you to start. You must know that when you integrate this, you get this. Just like for differentiation, I give you standard differentials. Like when you differentiate a constant, you get zero. When you differentiate s, you get one. When you differentiate s squared, you get two s. Meaning, use the power to multiply the function, subtract one from the power. And I said, when you differentiate sine theta, you get cos theta. When you differentiate cos theta, you get minus sine theta. And so, 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 so on. For integration, these are standard integrals you must know. If you don't know these standard integrals, then you cannot follow the integration techniques. Look at this. When you integrate a constant, you get like A, you get AS plus C. This is it. If I say integrate 2 ds, 2 is a constant. So, to integrate a constant, you add s to it to get 2s plus c. Anytime you integrate, you must add a constant. I gave you the reason. Look at something else. What if I say 5 here? That will be 5s plus c. Sometimes, integration or differential, they are not always function of s. You can get something like this. Integrate 5 dt. Yeah, you know that we are not talking about s. The function is t. It is basically the same thing. You will get 5t plus c. That is it. It is the same procedure. It is not always s, s you get. Sometimes we can, we will be told, integrate cos t, cos y, cos theta, cos m, and so on. So long as it's a variable, you apply this law. Now, to integrate a variable, for example, if I say integrate s, it is simply s squared over 2. Integrate s, it is s squared over 2. Add 1 to the power, 1 plus 1, 2, divided by the power. If I say integrate s squared, it is s over 3 plus c. You add 1 to the power, divide by the power. If I say integrate s raised to the power of 4, it is s raised to the power of 5 over 5. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power. Integrate s raised to the power of 9, it is s raised to the power of 10 over 10. If I say integrate 5s raised to the power of 9, this is 5 remains s raised to the power of 10 over 10. Then you can say 5 divided by 10 to have 1 over 2 s to the power of 10 or s to the power of 10 over 2. It doesn't get more difficult than that. If you are differentiating, no. If you are integrating a reciprocal, when you integrate 1 over s, you get in s or in s, anyone you prefer to call it, in s, <laughs> in s plus c. When you integrate exponential, for example, if you say integrate exponential s, the result will still be exponential s plus c. It does not change. For trigonometry, this is where the converse is obvious. If you differentiate sine s, you get cos s. But for integration, when you integrate cos s, you will get sine s plus c. When you integrate sine s, you get minus cos s. You see the difference? When you 
differentiate sine s, you get cos s. But when you integrate sine s, you will get minus cos s. Now, when you integrate cos s, you will get sine s. But when you differentiate cos s, you get minus sine s. So positive, negative. When you integrate tan s, you get in cos s, that is ln cos s plus c. Then, when you integrate sec square s, you will get tan s. These are standard integrals you must know. Start this video again, practice and practice. Know that when you integrate this, you get this, you get this, you get this. With this understanding of standard integrals, you'll be able to apply various techniques of integration. In the next episode, we shall be looking at definite integrals. I can't wait to introduce you to definite integrals, and I can't wait to proceed. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love what you are doing, or what I am doing, <laughs> subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Tell your friends about the Flash Cleaners YouTube channel, and don't forget to install the Flash Cleaners app and practice a lot of questions offline. It is going to be of great help to you. See ya!